hello guys welcome to our youtube channel today so we want to consider how do you scan your documents on linux so it's a very straightforward uh, way of doing it but we are going to show you right now how to do that easily one beautiful thing about linux is that it works well with majority of um, printers scanners uh, out there so it is very easy to set up out of the bus unlike in windows where you need drivers and installation software for you to be able to use your printer or your scanner so today we are going to see how where uh, linux connects to a scanner or a printer and how we can use that to scan documents easily so right, let's get started first of all we have to connect our scanner to our system so i'm using the hp psc 141031 scanner so my scanner is both a scanning machine uh, a, a photocopy machine and a printer so it's a three one uh, setup but today we are going to be focusing on the scanning aspect of it and we can easily scan document so once your printer is connected or your scanner is connected to the system there's a default application on ubuntu linux that can help you to do it as document scan just open it up so the application automatically search for scanners attached to the system so it has seen one now uh, hp psc 1400 series so this is my uh, scanner that i've connected then since it has already seen it it's ready to scan just like that you don't need to do any setup so let's test out a uh, scanning a document with this um scanner so i've put in a document into the scanner and let's scan just click on this button this green button here that says scan just wait for it So there we have it our document is scanned so now you have scanned your document you need to um save it so you you just come to this icon here save document all right so we want to save this scanned document so we we'll simply do then give your file a name scan file one dot pdf automatically it saves to pdf you can change this setting later and save it in your document save so there you have it you have if you go to your document you see scan file one scan file one and when you open it see you have your scan documents have your scan documents that's how easy it is to scan a a document or a group of documents on linux so let us play around with some settings in this um scan application so if you want to do a new scan let's say you are done with this you want to scan another document you just simply click on that again so you are ready to scan then you come 
this green button and click on scan and scan another document if you remember our scan document is saved automatically as is saved automatically as um pdf so you can go to preference to change that uh, different settings when the page size the the scan site how do you want it to scan you want it to scan front and back or, or both then the quality the brightness of your document when you scan them the brightness of your document when you scan them and the contrast the resolution the test resolution image resolution this has to do with the quality how do you want the documents to look like and you want to remember that um the more you increase the test resolution image resolution and other quality settings you increase the file size so but for me these default values are okay so if you want to um change what we are scanning or uh, uh the format if you want to change the format simply just go to this setting here and we are scanning as an image that means we are taking everything on the scan document the pictures the colors is being scanned but if we are just interested in let's say the text of that image let's say we are scanning a text document we can select text and the beautiful thing about this is that it will reduce the file size because other aspects of the documents will be ignored the colors and the graphics to just focus on the text let's see that same document scan as a text document so let's click on scan so it just focuses on the text and you see that it does not have it does not retain the colors and all that and if you look at if you notice it it is faster because they're ignoring the the scanning is ignoring many uh, of the many features of the document which are the pictures and all that, that um has a lot of data it goes straight to just the text and it's faster so that's if you are just interested in the text information of the document you can just select on scanning as text but if you are interested in both the color and the graphics information you select images then if you want to save this file other than in a format other than pdf you click on save document and select after giving it a name let's say scan doc scan file 2 then you change the extension if you look at it it is a pdf file you can just say png or jpg so if we say png and save so it will save the file as an image or a png image and if you look at it it will be opened with an image viewer so this is a png file so you can uh, select the popular uh, file extension for document right there from the place where you save it so what about lastly you want to do a multiple page scanning that means let's say we have a document that is more than one page and we want to scan it as one file we don't want to scan it as multiple files we want to scan that document as one file so it should have at least page one page two in one file so what we simply do is if we have scanned the first page let's say we have scanned the first page which is this i want to add another page to it remember we simply uh, if we want to scan another uh, document we go to start again but this time we will not click on start again we just simply open the, the scanner and change the page if we change the page to the next page you want to scan without starting again we just click on scan
so you can see we have changed the scanning to image format that's why we are scanning we are having colors and graphics and it's right and when we can just scan for text so we will now see like we have a multiple page document that we want to scan so in all in one file so if we want a situation where we want more than one pages in one file and don't want to scan it as individual files for each page we simply just change the page scan change the page scan change the page and scan see you have gotten a the number of pages you want so let's say let's just do another page just to add it i add to it to make it three pages so let me look for another page in the document that i can add to the scanning to make to make it three so after changing it to the page that i want to scan click on scan again so it adds another page to it So there we have it we would, you can just add as many pages as possible so if you have something like a brochure you want to have a scan a file of that brochure you can just be scanning all the pages of that brochure till you get to the final page and there you save it as one document so let's save this file now let's save it so we can say scan by three but we want to save it as a PDF. Let's say save it as a PDF. We'll change the file extension to PDF and click on save. So let's go and see how it lo looks like. So we have it scan file three. So there we have it this is the first page and as you scroll down you go to the next page go down you go to the next page and if you look at the left pane right here you see the number of pages one two and three these are the three pages we scan so you can scan as many pages as you want depending on your needs or what you want to achieve with it so thank you very much that's how we scan documents in linux Ubuntu Linux 20 LTS.